Hi friends, I am Anshuman Pun, CEO of Supervac Industries. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic of how to get maximum life from your diffusion pump oil. Diffusion pump oil is one of the costliest consumables required by vacuum users. In the present day scenario of cutthroat competition, engineers are under a lot of pressure to reduce their costs without compromising on the quality. Based on my experience of almost 20 years in vacuum line and my knowledge of engineering, today I am going to discuss a few points that will help you get maximum life from your diffusion pump oil. Topping up at regular intervals is the most important factor in getting maximum life from your diffusion pump oil. Care should be taken to top up the oil in the pump in a timely manner. In the absence of topping up, the volume of oil in the diffusion pump reduces, whereas the heaters producing the heat are producing the same amount of heat. This causes overheating and accelerated loss of diffusion pump oil. This further reduces the volume of oil available in the diffusion pump, which in turn causes more overheating and the loss of diffusion pump oil is further accelerated and so on. This becomes a cycle. Keeping a track of the water flow through the cooling loins. Check the inlet and the outlet temperature of water as well as the flow rate. Lines can become clogged or scaled over time as the diffusion pump oil vapor can only condense on coming in contact with the cold walls of diffusion pump. Any reduction in the cooling therefore causes overheating and increase of pressure inside the diffusion pump. This may result in a loss of oil with backstreaming. Number three point is, although it may sound very strange, a very low four pressure can also cause a loss of diffusion pump oil. This can be prevented by switching the heaters before the four pressure becomes too low. Faulty gauges for pressure or heater too can cause accidental overheating of the oil or the oil not getting the required heating. Check all the gauges are functioning properly. This is very very important point. Next point is that silicon diffusion pump oils normally have a life of about 4 to 5 times that of hydrocarbon diffusion pump oils. Also silicon diffusion pump oils do not blacken and clog the jets of diffusion pump. So silicon diffusion pump oil works out far more economical in the long run. Another factor is that poorly working rotary vacuum pump will put extra burden on diffusion pump. It must be ensured that the rotary pump is working properly to get the full life from diffusion pump oil. Do not expose the oil to air when it is heated. Doing so will affect the viscosity of the oil. The oil will thicken and the vacuum will reduce. To avoid air exposure, the valves must be checked from time to time. To avoid having the oil migrate into the vacuum chamber, a cold cap should be fitted at the top of nozzle assembly inside the diffusion pump. This cold cap condenses the vapor in that area. A concentric circular chevron baffle should be present at the mouth of the pump. This allows the air molecules to wander in but traps the heavier oil vapors as they try to escape. There should be no gross vacuum leaks in the vacuum system as this will result in the deterioration of oil very quickly. Vacuum leaks also cause the pressure to drop in the extreme cases may cause stalling of diffusion pump. Stalling will cause loss and deterioration of diffusion pump oil. Such leaks can be plugged by applying silicon vacuum grease to o-rings and joints. Sometimes backsteaming of contaminants from the vacuum chamber takes place causing the oil to form sludge. This is preventable by installing filters above the chevron baffle of the diffusion pump. Silicon diffusion pump oil starts to decompose if it comes in contact with even traces of elements of alkali metals like hydroxides of sodium, potassium and cesium etc. If process requires use of these then care should be exercised to prevent them from reaching the silicon diffusion pump oil. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks a lot.